For a strong America, for a proud America, I am running for President of the United States of America. Nikki Haley says it's time for a new generation to lead America as the former South Carolina governor kicked off her 2024 presidential campaign today in Charleston. State House reporter Mary Green was there and explains why Haley says she can be the one who could be that next leader. Delivering her first presidential campaign speech here at the Charleston Visitor Center, Nikki Haley told her supporters the reason she's running for president is to save the country from what she describes as the downward spiral of socialism and defeatism. It's a great day in South Carolina! Using a refrain familiar to many South Carolinians, Nikki Haley vowed to deliver a newness to shake up the status quo in Washington and lead the country forward. It will require doing some things we've never done, like sending a tough-as-nails woman to the White House. Haley joins former President Donald Trump as the only prominent Republican so far to announce their candidacies for the GOP nomination in 2024. Haley noted in her half hour stump speech that Republicans have lost the popular vote in seven of the last eight presidential elections. If you're tired of losing, put your trust in a new generation. And if you want to win, not just as a party, but as a country, stand with me. Pundits have predicted Haley's path to the nomination might be narrow in what could be a crowded Republican field. Her backers told the estimated crowd of 2000 that Haley shouldn't be underestimated, including her former State House colleague, South Carolina Congressman Ralph Norman. I know what we are kicking off today will make history. Haley echoed many of the same promises of leading Republicans to support law enforcement, secure the border, and strengthen the country's role in global affairs. The 51-year-old former governor also vowed to impose congressional term limits and introduce mental competency tests for politicians over 75. America is not past our prime. It's just that our politicians are past theirs. <laughs> Leading a new generation, Haley says she'll restore a country that is, as she described it, strong and proud, not weak and woke. For a strong America, for a proud America, I am running for president of the United States of America. Speaking to reporters yesterday ahead of Haley's announcement, DNC Chair Jamie Harrison called Haley part of an extreme MAGA crowd and says he has questions about what she stands for. In a statement, former President Donald Trump, Haley's boss when she was ambassador to the UN, called her, quote, just another career politician whose only fulfilled commitment is to herself. Reporting Charleston, I'm Mary Green. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former Vice President Mike Pence, and South Carolina Senator Tim Scott are all among the Republicans expected to be considering joining that field in the coming months as well.